Hello YouTube. I'm going to do a video that tells you how to transfer fish from an old tank into a new tank as efficiently and quickly as possible, as safely as possible. Um, I don't do YouTube videos, um, but I've benefited from so many others that I thought maybe my experience here would benefit somebody else and save somebody the aggravation or loss of their fish. So I hope this helps. Um, just quickly, this is my new tank and uh, here. This is my new tank. I'm doing this all in one take, guys, because I don't know how to edit, and I don't want to ask my kids. This is my new tank. It's a 55-gallon tank. <clears throat> it um, It's already got a couple fish in there. You see it's already up and running. Let me tell you how I got there. This is the old tank, right? And the old tank is about a 30-gallon tank. Um, it, um, it's why I'm, I got a new one. I wanted it to be larger. And uh, <clears throat> there's still some uh, fish in there. It's not in very good shape. One of the reasons why I'm getting a new tank. I've had this for about 15, 20 years. Um, so, I first thing I did is I took my trusty Lowe's bucket, which I got for about five bucks, and I siphoned water into it from the old tank using a, a, a very a typical kind of siphon that you get from an aquarium store, pet store, very cheaply. Um, I siphoned water from the old tank into the bucket took that bucket, dumped it into the new tank, and uh, then I added um, equal parts of um, dechlorinated treated uh, tap water. And uh, the way I, I treat tap water is through the API Stress Coat product, but you can also use Novaqua or um, many other treatment methods that they use to take the chlorine out of the tap water. Um, <coughs> so equal parts of fresh tap, uh, dechlorinated tap water. Um, to old fish tank water. Then I took um, the over, I had two over the tank filters on the old tank. And um, if you're, if you know and you can plan ahead, I would suggest getting a second um, over the tank filter that you can put on your existing tank so that you have one that you can put, a used one that you put on your new tank. You want used because that's got the biological filtration already running in there, and that biological filtration becomes essential in getting your tank through its nitrite cycle. The nitrite cycle is a natural process that can occur uh, through aeration and oxygen exchange in the water to get your ammonia levels down, your nitrite levels down, your nitrate levels down, all of it should be at zero. Um, and then you also want to make sure that your pH is, 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 uh, is right. So the things that matter when you're starting a new tank or, or changing up to a, moving up to another tank are pH levels, nitrite levels, nitrate levels, and, um, and ammonia levels, right? And you test for that with, uh, I use a test kit, also API. This is um, uh, an API test kit that uh, it looks like this. It comes in a little plastic box with all these chemicals in it, and little test tubes, and a color chart. And I'm not going to go into how you use this. There's other videos that explain that. Um, but it's essential uh, to make sure that you get it working right. I've heard test strips work for some people, but this is the way to go. It's a good investment. It lasts about five years. Um, so uh, what you do is you change, you move water from old tank into new tank and move gravel uh, into uh, from old tank into new tank. Move as much as you can from the old tank to the new tank without agitating your fish. So you want to keep that in mind as well. So even your decor has biological filtration in it. The healthy beneficial bacteria latch on to the surfaces of your decor, your rocks, <clears throat> certainly your sponge filters, um, and your over-the-counter filter medium that's, that's inside there. Um, and then you are going to move your, uh, your, your temperature over. How do you move your temperature? You look at your thermometer. You make sure that you've, you've got it almost exact to what you want in your new tank. And you do that with, with heaters. Um, I use multiple heaters so that if one fails, my fish don't die if I'm not right there. Um, and uh, better to use three heaters uh, that work on smaller tanks than one heater that just covers your tank. Um, have extra power. So you get your temperature equal, you test for your ammonia, you test for your nitrates, your nitrates, you use as much media as you can from your old tank into your new tank, and then it's about adding the fish. And you wanna do that, you wanna make their move as comfortable as possible. Just like when you move, you want the best movers that are gonna use kids' gloves and moving the furniture, 
but here it's more important because it's not just that they get stressed out with a tough move, they die, right? They, they, stress kills fish, and the move, uh, stress of a move is, is number one. The stress of getting netted and taken from one tank to another, um, and the stress of different uh, chemical levels and temperatures and pH, so you want to minimize those, those problems. So the way I did that is I filled up my trusty Lowe's bucket again with about uh, maybe about a third of the way with, with uh, old fish tank water, put two fish in there. And then I knew that my pH level in my new tank, because I tested it on my API kit, was about uh, 0.8 away from the old tank, which is not uncommon. So I used aeration, I, air stones and um, air discs and the sponge filter over a period of two days to um, do some oxygen exchange on the surface of the water. And basically it brought the pH down to within 0.4, which is acceptable, um, and, but still not exact, right? And I wanted to make it as stress-free as possible for these guys. So I put them in the bucket, and then I took regular airline tubing that you'd get to pump air from a pump into your fish tank through an air stone, the regular tubing. And I added this little guy on, on the bottom which is a, uh, an airflow regulator, which you can buy at any pet store that sells fish equipment. They come like five to a pack for three bucks, very inexpensive. But there's a little knob, and then, again, this is usually used to regulate air. There's a little knob on there that you would turn to regulate the airflow. But you can also use this to regulate water flow. So what I did is I put one end of this little airline tubing into the, uh, the, the new tank, which had the higher pH. Remember my fish are sitting in that bucket in their old water, right? And I put a little, actually used a little suction cup that comes with airline tubing sometimes um, so that it would hold in the new tank. And then I sucked on this, just like the siphon, so that I could get it going. And as soon as I heard that water flowing, because I don't want to swallow tank water if I can avoid it, I put it into my bucket and then I regulated the water flow using that knob until it was just slightly more than, than a, a drip, but you know, a little, little flow going, enough to keep the suction moving. And what that did is it allowed water from the new tank to mix with the old tank water, but very slowly so that the fish could get regulated to their new home water um, quickly and without a lot of trauma and stress. Whereas if I just dumped glasses of water into their um, existing water into the bucket, uh, that in and of itself, if there's a significant change in pH, would, would shock them. So uh, this may not have been necessary, it might have been fine just to be put right into the new tank, but you know, why not make things safer and better and hopefully make sure that my fish have a, a good next week as they get adapted to their new tank. So that worked, then I took the bucket and I literally dumped it slowly into the new tank and my little fish swam out of there. And there's one of them right now. So that's my Cory cat. His name's Eric. He's been around for a few years. He's hardy. That's why I chose him. And then I also have a convict in here. Um, I don't know where he's hiding. But the convict is also hardy. So I figured I'd put them in first and, uh, and see how they do. But I wouldn't have done that unless I was confident that the water was in good shape. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Soon I'm going to be adding my Placostomus, whom I've had for like six or seven years. Put him into the new tank and my upside down catfish guy. All right, well, I hope this has helped you in some way and um, thanks for watching.